Hey friends, Mike and Jess here. And welcome to Regeneration Nation TV where we are finishing our second The Warning Wednesday. This was cha-ching, cha-ching, money. The way that that came out was like, We've done many The Warning Wednesdays, but our second oh, song second on song this, for The this Warning Wednesday, I just, warning it Wednesday. confused me. You're right. Sorry. Okay, it confused Let's me. Be... I don't want anybody else to be confused. <laughs> they might be a first time viewer here. Like, they wait, don't know what? us. They've done more than two Wednesdays. You're yeah. right. We have. We've been on a, a long journey with these <laughs> The Warning Wednesdays. Okay. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Mike. This is Jess, hi. my beautiful wife. Oh, um, make sure you go down in the description. Check out our uh, the Warning Wednesday playlist. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not called that. It's just The Warning playlist. Yeah. But you can find all of our reactions and get yourself caught up mm -hmm. because we're going to be doing it next week as well. And you want to be caught up. Yep. Okay. I just, I, I can feel it in my bones that you really do want to <laughs> be caught up. Yes. We're getting through this live at Teatro Metropolitan concert series wrapped up. And to do that, there's a lot of songs. So we yeah. got to make it The Warning Wednesday for a while. Two reactions on Wednesday of The Warning. Super awesome. We've got eight left, guys. <laughs> eight left. The Revenant. Jess is very excited about The Revenant I can't wait. They're week. sitting. They're all together. It's just like a big group. Like, yes. I'm just so excited for this. But about this song, okay. <clears throat> Down with capitalism, all right? <laughs> That's what this song's all about. Stick it it's to all the about man. just, you know, not making money so important. Yeah. And the ill effects that it can have on mm -hmm. you. Um, it was awesome. The way that, I don't know, man, this song was freaking awesome. Yeah, it okay? was. We get into our thoughts a lot at the end of all of our reactions, so make sure you stick around, hear our thoughts at the end, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, make sure you go in the description and the pinned comment, Support click those movies. links for the warning. We've got their official channel, this original video, everything. Make sure you go support them, and uh, let's get into it. Let's do it. I'm trying to figure out what's on her pants. Are those starfish? What is the pattern? What was that noise, dude? Hold up. Was that them singing together, harmonizing? Uh -huh. Or, man, that was so crazy like sounding. Like a, yeah, something that... Maybe like a little robotic. You hear that cha -ching? Okay, we read the lyrics before this, like we've been doing, and I'm like, man, this is uh, this is pretty. Oh, I I like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, like I'm very, I don't know, like, I oh man, I don't really know how to say what I'm trying to say right now, but it's just it's talking about our world and how mm -hmm. these freaking materialistic things are so important to us, dude. Yep. She's talking about like a diamond noose around your neck. Like, man, this, just diamonds. Yeah. We could go on a, a on a tangent, and I'll try not to make this too long, about every single thing that they're talking about. Mm -hmm. But just diamonds, man. Like, it's so crazy the things that we make important in this world. And just the importance that we put on them. Yeah. And it's but just, the people that are receiving it don't understand the people that gave it to them and the people that are producing those things for them yeah. are the ones that are struggling, and they don't understand that. Like, there's all there's this hierarchy thing that goes down, and then you don't think about the person down here. Like, like oh, you don't have diamonds on around your neck? Oh, you yeah. don't have diamond rings all around your wrist and on your hands? And like, <sighs> oh, well, yep, you're down here on yeah. the totem pole. Oh man, I don't know. This I really like the lyrics of this song though, but the way that they're delivering them. Yeah, I love man. it. Like when you do like that beat drop thing where it just like everything stops and then you go, it just it gives me it fills me with so much electricity. It's just like, oh, I just want to move. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, as my witness, I bring you wash 
I love that. That's my favorite. I love that. Ugh. Yeah, let's get back to that because that is such a cool freaking moment. Pow is just getting the whole crowd into it yeah. with her. It's so cool. It's so cool. twice. So it's all about that. Oh, that's so sick. Dude, you hear Ale over there? Yeah. Every single thing. That's Gosh, so cool. Yeah. Funny. That's so cool. <laughs> I, I think it's human nature to be curious about something that you don't see that much. And so when you get a little hint of it, it's it's you're, it's it's just funny for me to see you drawn to Ale so much because you don't get to see that much of her. So whenever it does happen, your like radar is just like right on there. Yeah. And I just like I like seeing that in you because it's not something that I I notice in all the reactions that we well, do. I'm trying to be more like you, where you pick up on the little subtle things. Okay, <laughs> all just, of those I things have always it. gone over my head, <laughs> I love and I'm it like, so wait, much. what? What's on her pants? Even that when you said that, I was like, I haven't noticed anything. I'm, on I'm her thinking pants. it's like I don't know. I want to say it's like sandcastles, but I'm just making believe something. I don't know. I don't, I <laughs> I can't see on her no, pants, you're but really it looks good. like little starfish. You're really good. She'll hear somebody's voice actor, like in an animated movie or something. She's like, oh, that's that person. Oh, boom. I'm like, wait, what? How? You heard two seconds. Dude, what? It's over? Oh. That was such a... I enjoyed that for so many different reasons. Yeah. It's not even funny. There like, there's so lot. much going through my head of what just went on. But there was a lot more. to love. Yeah, there's, like, still more in this one. Oh, that was so good. And the meaning behind it was... Oh, man, the lyrics were... Very, very impactful. I wish they were more impactful. And it changed some freaking things. I thought we were going to get an encore, dude. Ah, uh, me too. I was like, dang, there's still more. It's still going. Ciudad de Mexico. <gasps> oh, I want to keep reacting. They're sitting. Oh, we we're nope. spoiled. You got to wait. You got to wait. Oh. <sighs> I'm sorry, I gotta be the bad guy here. Okay. Oh, Revenant coming soon, you guys. Next week, I'm so excited <laughs> about it. Spoiler alert, it's gonna be Revenant. Yes. And they're sitting down. I wanna know what this is. Pow is right there. What does she have in her hands? Is it like a Revenant handheld something? Looks like they're all sitting down. This looks so <gasps> cool. And then cool it kids. Okay, but right, back to this one. I'm so Back to this one. I'm hey, so hey, obsessed. Hey. Oh, Come on. I can't wait. I'm so excited <laughs> for next Wednesday. Okay, I'm excited about this Wednesday as well. This this song was so awesome. The uh, background, just including the little clank of the money, that was super yeah. awesome. The little drop of the freaking where they paused and then they let the freaking oh, man, the audience that was awesome. sing that I love part. That. And the then audience sing that part and then just get in. into it. Yeah, you know I love crowd participation. I absolutely adore that when that happens because you see how much energy, how much they give out to their fans and how much the fans are receiving it and what they feel. And it's just such a cool like I love it for the artists <laughs> mostly because we're watching this from the outside in. But like being that artist on stage, looking out at all those people that adore you and they're so like just loving what's going on right now and then they're feeling that energy and then you just let them take it and it's just like they give it to you so much yeah. and it's it's just a beautiful thing to see i love that yeah for sure this song was just like an attack mm -hmm. like a, a freaking call <laughs> to change like our ways like of 
we're, we're such a capitalistic society, mm-hmm. you know, and it's just there's the things that the hierarchy of, of things that we hold important are just it's backwards, dude. Mm-hmm. It's on its head. We should flip it on its head. Yep. And just start over that way mm-hmm. and see how things go for yep. a few decades. Because the one thing that sticks out in my brain is corporation. And I work for a corporation right now, so I won't say too much. But you it's all be about. Careful. They watch our videos. It's all about money and numbers. And that's when people stop being people and they just become another notch in your uh, your scheme where you need to make more money from them. That's all you see is dollar signs when you're looking at a person's face. And that's when you um, stop with empathy and that you don't you don't see those people for people they're just they're just things to you they're just objects and that's so dangerous in everything like not just business wise that's dangerous in real society like when you start seeing people for just objects they're not anything to you you dehumanize them and then you can do anything that you want to them and it doesn't affect you at all and that's so dangerous in our society so set aside from money that's so dangerous for people to just disregard human life like that but it's such a negative ripple effect that <laughs> things like that have yeah. like even just looking at my family life growing up both of my parents were so focused on making as much money as possible and we didn't get a lot from them. And then their relationship ended up falling apart. Um, my dad's not with us anymore. Like he, he passed away with a lot of regrets of the way that he handled his life, especially with his children. Um, and just seeing that and I mean, I love you, mom. My mom watches some of these videos, so it's not like a, I'm trying to bash my parents here. Like I'm a grown person now and i take a lot of like responsibility for my actions um but i wanted to change the the way things were from my childhood and so we haven't put a big emphasis on money Mm -hmm. in our household like we live very much within our means and i can tell you the relationship that we have with each other the relationship that we have with our children is a million times better than the, the relationship I had with my parents growing up. So it's just, you take it in the household, you take it in the, mm-hmm. in your, you know, Business, your career, yeah, what you're doing. Uh, it's you, the way, when you lead with money first as your driving factor for everything and you put so much of an, like an importance on money, mm-hmm. it can really ruin some stuff really quickly. Yeah. And, and especially in back, society, like it's just, and you have this huge house and you have a bank account full of money but you're alone and you have nothing to show for it and you can't take that with you. And I'm not saying that every person that has money and is striving to to make money doesn't have a good cause for it because a lot of people are doing it for their family. So as long as they keep that in mind, you won't lose sight of what's important. And so when you have all those money and have all these things, you won't make that a priority in your life and keeping and holding on to all that money. You'll make the relationships in your life important. Yeah, I mean, there's that quote that we recently saw from Jim Carrey. It's like, I wish everybody in the world could become rich and famous so you could realize that that's not the answer. That's not gonna make you happy yeah basically i forget the exact quote but yeah but it's very very impactful (sighs) and we learned a new word today which was very exciting i did never heard the word uh rapacity and uh just a greedy selfish way of being basically but i didn't know that and uh, that was pretty cool for teaching us something today (laughs) the warning word of the day is rapacity (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, all right. Well, the Warning Wednesday. This was awesome. Two amazing songs. Mm-hmm. Um, if you only watch this one, you got to go back and watch the reaction that just dropped a few hours yes. ago. Get yourself caught up. Go down to the Warning playlist <clears throat> that we have. Get caught up on all of the reactions. And keep your eyes out for next Wednesday. I'm going to get tongue twisted. I'm dude. so excited for next Wednesday, The Revenant, yeah. and I can't wait. They're sitting down, yeah. you guys. They're sitting down. They're sitting this down. is going to be awesome. It's going to be intimate. I love it. We'll see y'all then. <laughs> Bye, friends. Peace. I'm not scared of your love.